Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, continuing the Bordeaux trip wines, uh, we have another Bordeaux wine. Uh, like I said, most of the wines I bought were, were Bordeaux wines. I, did, I got like uh, a couple reviews. I've got something from the southwest part of France, and I did some Burgundy. And I've got something from Loire Valley to do eventually, which i got to send a message to um, Sebastian and Darcy about maybe doing a Skype thing with that. Um, so that might get put on hold if we if we decide to do that. But um, getting closer to episode 200, so I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do with that. But we'll see. I'll probably just do an episode. But um, all right, so we got more Bordeaux wine. And uh, if you're stopping by the blog, which uh, this week there should be the second installment of the trip blog. Now that's going to kind of detail uh, the rest of the prepping for the trip. Um, and then after that, we'll talk about each, each day on the trip. but uh, So let's get right into the wine real quick here. All right, so I've got the Chateau Tour Pibron 2007 from Poyac. Uh, this was purchased at, uh, this is Nicholas, yes, Nicholas. Purchased at the Nicholas Wine Shop in Paris. Uh, bought it for 19 euros and 10 cents. Um, that equates to about $25 and 80 cents, US dollars, US money. Uh, this, um, I can't get an exact thing on because it kind of depends on, um, let's see here. Oh, let's do that so I can actually see what I'm doing here. You know, here we go. Boom. You got that? Anyone watching? No one's watching. A little bit, a little bit delayed there. Um, anyway, uh, so the, the, uh, what's wrong? I can't get an exact ratio of, of the grapes on here. Um, now, on the, the write-up on the Wine Doctor, which that's a really cool website if you ever, um, if you ever want to learn about, especially about like certain types of uh, uh, chateaus or, or wine, wine producers, um, I'll, I'll put a link to that uh, down below, so make sure you do that. Uh, it's got some really cool stuff. I mean, stuff that you're not going to even find on Wikipedia, because this, this guy actually you know, talks to the people, whereas Wikipedia just kind of, you know, it's just some schmo, well, it's maybe not some schmo, but... Some, some, somebody's just writing a, an entry, and sometimes it's really well done. So it could have been somebody who really knows the, uh, the producer really well, or technically you can't be your own, you can't, be, you can't do your own entry, so you can't be the actual Chateau doing it. Um, but we know there's ways around that. But um, I'm not saying that Chateaus are doing it, just in general. Like, I can't create my own Wikipedia page. Uh, someone else can do it, but I can't. But there's ways around it. You could you could do it if you did it on your own. Um, but uh, it's got some really cool stuff on there, and just in general, like not even just about producers, just everything. It's it's a great great resource website. It, a lot of times when I'm looking something up, uh, this guy's website comes up usually first. But he also like you know he talks to these uh, to the owners, so you get some good insight. Anyway, so uh, when trying to find out stuff about this particular wine and how much of each varietal is in it. Uh, the way the wine doctor put it, this tells me that uh, it's most likely a Merlot-based wine, not a Cabernet Sauvignon-based wine, which is unusual on the left bank. Left banks are normally Cabernet Sauvignon-driven wines, even if it's only a slightly higher percentage. Um, and Merlot is usually the second, in the second um, most used. But this particular winery or the chateau tends to Put more Merlot than Cabernet Sauvignon because they feel that the terroir uh, is better suited for Merlot. With that said, um, what I can find tasting notes for this particular vintage, it says it's 55% Cabernet Sauvignon, 45% Merlot. Not entirely positive that's true or not, but it's got them both in there. And they're about equal. They're about evenly uh, stuck. This is the second wine. The Grand Vin is uh, Chateau Pibron. 
Uh, this is their second wine. Um, so yeah, all right. So let's uh, talk about this wine. Let's uh, look at the color here. Just a nice little red color. It's a little bit light. Uh, I can kind of see my fingers through it. It's almost equivalent to the Gamay that we just had, or sorry, the Gamay that from last week for Thanksgiving. Viscosity, very low viscosity. I mean, it's just really running down the sides. Again, that doesn't really mean much. It's just viscous. It's just how it's like. It's like smelling the cork, and I right, smell cork. Okay. Did I actually happen to pick up the right one. Uh, I think I picked up one of the other ones. Anyway, um, not that it matters. Like in the nose. Yeah, I'm really starting to like. I mean, I know I've had a lot of Bordeaux wine, so I'm really kind of getting into it, but man, I really like the noses on these things. So, getting, you know, the minerality type of stuff, um, earthiness, a tad of smoke. It's not as smoky as some of the other wines we've had. I. I I kind of feel like I'm, um, now, like when I talked about the Beaujolais Nouveau and I felt like I was in the barrel room and I smelled the, smelled the fermentation of the grapes, because basically, if you think about it, Beaujolais Nouveau is basically just a barrel sample that, that, that was bottled, okay, because it's only a few weeks old. I feel like I'm now more, because I'm getting kind of uh, the woody oakiness also, chocolate, cherries, but I, I I swear I'm like in the cellar room. It smells like the cellar room of a of a of a chateau. You're getting all the smells combined into one. I mean, most of the cellar rooms don't have you know uh, earth floors, but you 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 you're getting that type of of uh, aromas. Very nice, very nice nose. I right, check it out. More the same from the bouquet. Um, getting, getting a bit of you know creaminess, vanilla type of of uh, um, um, flavoring um, with the cherries and, and and the light red fruit. You know, light not not dark red fruits. Well, maybe a little maybe a little raspberry to it. Maybe a little raspberry to it. Yeah. Um, more fruit forward on the palate than minerality, but I'm still getting kind of that, that earthiness, woodiness type of stuff. Uh, low tannins, not, not heavy on the tannins there. Um, decent acidity. This is really good. I, 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 I like this wine. God, I love the nose. I think it's a really, really well-made wine. I have to say, I probably like the nose a little bit better than the palate. Not a bad thing, but most people drink wine and smell wine. Not a knock against the wine at all. I think it's really well-made. Um, I'm going with 88 on it. I know I said I know I had the whole I really like this wine, and that tends to mean I'm going to probably give it a 90 or better. But I think it's closer to about an 88 point wine. It's still it feels pretty pretty darn good. If you can find this, uh, if you're in France, you, you should be able to find it, especially at Nicholas. It won't be hard to find that. Definitely pick it up, pick up a bottle or two. Uh, if you're in the United States, I don't know if you'll be able to find it or not. You, you should be able to. I mean, I'm able to find reviews in the States on it, so it's not like it can't be found, but it's probably going to only be able to be found in um, more specialty shops rather than your, your chain shops. So I don't know, you know, maybe large retailers like a wine library or J.J. Buckley, uh, that type of stuff, they might... They might carry our specs here in, in Texas. You know, the larger ones might be able to care, might have it. Um, maybe not 2007 specifically, but they probably have it. No, I, 
I definitely would buy it. Recommend it. Uh, 88. Go for it. Uh, I'll definitely have a link to the Wine Doctor's, um, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, write up on it, or just the wine, the wine Doctor in general, but I'll try to remember to do the actual link. Maybe I'll write a little note. Wine Doctor, because I won't remember this a week from now. Wine Doctor link to Chateau. Buy it. Cool. Stop by the website. Check out everything else on there. Check out all the other episodes that may not be on your TiVo. Um, friend me up. I got all the links up here. Uh, friend me up. Got the donation side over there. You want to throw a couple buckets that way? Click the links for uh, any information as far as the wine. And um, we'll see everybody again next time.